Stop and Sever here in Dundalk. Peter, a very good morning to you. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, how are you this morning? You're all decked out in the in the chef's gear this morning. Yeah, I work on a Wednesday in the kitchen. Wednesdays my uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday I do, I do help out in the kitchen. So right, I'm sort of jack of all trades. I help out everywhere, but on a Wednesday it's in the kitchen. So I left the kitchen to come out and help you to, to talk to you. I'm very impressed with that, Peter. <laughs> He's a, he's a man, should be. a man of many talents. <laughs> yeah. Peter, um, I suppose it's coming up to that time of year where I'm sure Conlon's is is flat out with all the the orders that you have. Yeah, well, this is yeah, it's coming up to Christmas time, and Christmas would be the busiest day. We were, Christmas Eve would be the busiest day of the year. Yeah. And in all the years we went through, it's been a hectic and all this. But I, I always say it would be the day I'll always remember uh, mm. Christmas Eve because with the kids being small night, it was all, there's memories in that end of it. But we're, we're busy, but the weather's affecting us a little bit now at the moment. People are finding it difficult to get around. Sure. Get out and so, so hopefully now in the next two weeks. Is it two weeks to Christmas? It is, yeah, yeah just, just, just over two weeks, yeah. Now, uh, Peter, as well as being able to go in and sit down in Conlon's Food Hall and, and have something delicious to eat in there, as well as that, I mean, if people want their, to get their turkey cooked or want stuff like that, I mean, you can, you do all, all that. To, you take the hassle out of cooking the Christmas dinner for people. Oh, we do, yeah. We, we do pure turkey breast, white meat white meat only found that people prefer that less waste mm. modern housewife doesn't want turkey legs and bones and stuff like that mm. and we do baked and boiled hams we can do smoked ham we do a lot of other things but we find they're the, one, they're the ones yes. that, that generally well are you mentioned waste and, and that's a really important thing this year people are going to be very conscious of cost and so on yeah. and, and hate the thoughts of waste so you would actually just I mean most people that's what they eat the turkey breast isn't it it is yeah and actually a turkey lo- when you bone a turkey out it loses over 55% Depends on how good you're doing it. Yes, if you have yeah. a ten pound turkey, right. if you have a twenty pound turkey, you only have ten ninety ten pound if you bone it properly enough. And if you take the legs off that, you, you're left with literally about seven pound of of white meat in and around that. Mm. There, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so you know that's the sort of waste you have. And then if you have the white meat, which everybody eats, you don't need as many pounds of it, and it's cooked. And so you just eat what you have on the next day right. or two days maybe, and ham ham the same. You know. Yeah. Peter, do people still have very traditional tastes with regard to Christmas, that they, they like the turkey and ham? You know, I know we've become more continental in ways lately. Do people still kind of stick to the tried and tested for Christmas? Oh, well, they do, yeah, they do in general. But I remember, um, uh, it's probably about four years ago now, a lady bought crocodile steaks for Christmas. Go away. <laughs> crocodile <laughs> steaks. I've never even heard of it. Yeah, that's true. I'm not, jo- I'm not joking. That's yeah, true. Yeah. We, used to, um, we used to have octopus. Did you? We did, yeah, because it was the only way that each one of us could get a leg. Yeah, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm joking, I'm joking. Isn't goose popular as well? <laughs> goose, yeah, we, we, not a lot of people look for goose. Yeah. Maybe they cook them themselves yeah. and that, you know, but we can cook goose and we can get goose, we can get duck, we can get rattlesnake, we can get... Were you them. able to source crocodile? Yeah, yeah, it's got to say, it was, um, we didn't catch it now. <laughs> <laughs> that was the next question. Intrepid <laughs> <laughs> Peter Conlon. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, um, no, you can, we deal with a company that can get us rattlesnake, literally uh, anything you really want, that end of it, yeah. Yes. And, Crocodile steak, and then she was, I think she was from Monaghan, and she asked me would I be able to get the crocodile steak. It's a white meat, I've eaten it, it's white meat, and uh, we were able to get it for Yes, and would it, how would it compare to turkey? Oh, it wouldn't. I mean, we yes. have the best quality food. You know, um, if you go to the most, like, I mean, maybe I mean, if you want sort of steak and you've got you know, that Irish beef, it's, it's hard to beat it, it's yeah. hard to beat Irish talking, it's hard, no matter where you go, I mean, the quality's never the same as Irish. Yeah. <clears throat> Not because I'm in the food business, it's just a fact. But you, you, but you know food, Peter. Yeah, absolutely. There's no doubt yeah. about that. And I think that's important. You know, we've been talking lately about, you know, people, you know, buying Irish and, and keeping it local and whatever. And you're right. I mean, everybody loves uh, um, Irish food. Oh, I mean, it's, it's the 